if you are using entity framework code and do not like to write the add migrations or update migrations command then this video is for you there is a proper ui in visual studio 2022 to handle all these commands directly from your project without installing anything else to work on this feature you must have at least visual studio 2022 17.6 version let's learn how this works so here i have created one asp.net core web api application and in this web api application i have done couple of things so i have created this data folder and this is the db context class that i have i have not installed the entity framework core as of now over here that is why we are getting this error to work on this feature i have added two classes over here one is this book and another is this language so here you can see that in the book i have commented this reference because i will do it in the second phase so in the first migration i'm gonna use only this app db context class and it is having only one single db set which is this book other than this i have also added the reference in the program.cs file over here it is also all commented we will enable it once we will install the entity framework core i have also added the connection string over here in this app settings file and let's start this learning so if i open the cs pros file of this project then you will notice i am using this dotnet 7.0 so what does it mean it means this feature is about visual studio not about the dotnet framework you can use this feature on almost all the frameworks if you are having this latest version of visual studio so let's open the nuget packages over here and from this place go to browse and here i will search for entity framework core sql server package i'm already having all these packages in the suggestion so let's click on this one and i'm using this 7.0 version click on this install button so this sql server will automatically install the main entity framework core click on this apply button accept it has been installed if i go back to this app db context class then you can notice we are getting all the packages so if i just try to build this application then you will notice the build is successful so we can go to this program.cs file and we can enable this thing use sql server let's use the proper package like this perfect if i go back to my app settings.json file and here you can notice i'm using the local server which is dot and this is the name of my database that i want to work with i have not created any database so far in this sql server so if i just try to refresh this page then you can notice i do not have that database to work on this feature you have to double click on this connected services let's click over here and here you will notice that we are already having one connected feature it is saying the connection string name it is coming from this app db this app db is something that we have defined in our this connection string and this is the name app db and we are already using it over here in this program.cs class and this is how we are just accessing it now we have to work on the migrations and to work on the migrations we need to install two more packages one is design and second is tools but if you will install tools then the design package will automatically be installed but let's try to use this feature without installing them to see what would be the error so here i have to click on these three dots and you will notice that we are having so many options over here one is this add migration then we are having this update database then we are having this generate sql script let's click on this add migration so based on the packages that you have installed it will do couple of things over here first it will suggest a default name of your migration over here you can always change it and here in the second option there is a drop down and in this drop down by default it will select your db context class if you are having more than one db context class then there will be an option to select by using this drop down and here you can see we are getting the error so if i just expand this window and to work on this feature we have to install this microsoft.entityframeworkcore.design so let's just install this package so again i can click on this one go back to this manage new get packages and from here this time i am going to install tools package that tools has the dependency on design so both of them will be installed in this application and here it is if i click on this tools and just scroll down a little bit to see the dependencies here you can see we are having the dependency on microsoft.entityframeworkcore.design let's just install it apply accept and there we go the package has been installed successfully okay let's try everything again so again i'm going to click on these three dots and click on this add migration this application is retrieving all the available db context class for us and this time you can notice the app db context is automatically selected for us so here is the migration name you can always change it based on your need so for example here i'm writing 
and it is cosec underscore one that's my name and you can give any meaningful name over here although it is not meaningful but this is the name of my script let's click on this finish button behind the scene you can see we are having this command it is saying dot net ef migrations this is basically the tb context class okay the migration has been added successfully let's click on this close button and here you can notice you are having one folder with name migrations and it has the migration this is the snapshot of the app db context class and here we are having this migration you can create this migration by using the command line tool you can also update your database by using the command line tool but here we are learning everything by using the ui so to update the database also i'm going to use that same ui so again here we are on this same feature and just click on these three dots and this time i'm going to click on this update database and everything is pre-selected i have to simply click on this finish button behind the scene you will notice we are having this command dot net ef database update and this is the db context class the database is updated with the latest migration let's click on this close button and go back to our sql server management studio and here if i refresh this database then you can notice we are having a new database and it has all the tables as of now we have added only one single table which is this books and this is for the migration history so let's try to make some more changes over here and for that here in this books i have to just enable this key and i have to use this language table in this db context class for the db set that's it it means i have added one more model class over here and i want to add one more table in my database so let's try to create one more script and for that again i can go back to that same feature i can double click on this connected services use three dots click on this add migration click on this finish button close you can notice we are having one more migration over here and to update the database again i can use the same feature update database the database has been updated successfully let's verify the changes so here if i go back to this sql server management studio and just refresh this page then you can notice we are having one more table which is this language and if i go back to this books and expand this keys then you can notice this time we are having this foreign key as well so this is how you can create your migrations and update the database that's not all there is one more feature let's close it and this time you can notice i can click on this generate sql script so by using your migrations you can also generate your sql script let's click on this one the db context class is already selected for us and here is the location of your script file you can notice the extension is .sql it means this is going to be a plain sql file and you can run it directly in your database so let's just click on this finish button and here you can see that the script has been generated successfully if i click on this close button then you can notice we are having this migration underscore script.sql file and we are having all the changes over here you can simply copy this file and paste it in the sql server management studio and you can run it that is all about this feature do you like it or not let me know your feedback in the comment section below if you like the content of this channel please subscribe it and please like this video thank you for watching have a great day